90% of all flaggings on YouTube originate from sexual frustration as a result of not being able to fuck members of the opposite sex unless they're 13 years old, and also unless they're Catholic, and also unless you can stab them 119 times while they're wearing a fur costume like a faggy looking fuck. All of this is based on my personal experience. Don't judge me for that. He lied too much. What can you do about it? It's the Honest Matt Show with your host, author of the best-selling prison book, They Rape Me in the Amos Every Day, Matt Jarbo. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Matt Jarbo, the mass flagging faggot, also known as the Quarry King, otherwise known as Matt the Two Ton Two Face Jarbo. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. No, seriously, I love that people have come up with a thousand different names to describe how much of an epic stupid cunt I really am. This week, I've been going through all of the letters in the mail, everything that I received from my fans when I was in prison. And man, I wasn't expecting so many words of encouragement. Let's see here. Okay, oh, there's a handwritten note in this full page handwritten note uh, from a guy named David. It says here, hello, Mundane Matt. I've been a big fan of your channel for more than a year now. You always have great content and I agree with most of what you say. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. And then there's a, a, there's a drawing of what looks like, uh, like tumbleweed for some reason. He goes on to say here that if you haven't realized, I'm actually being sarcastic. I figured that someone with fucking autism or whatever the hell disability you obviously suffer from probably wouldn't be able to pick up on the subtext of this letter. And considering your extremely limited brain power, you wouldn't even notice that I called you a disgusting, morally self-righteous faggot just now. Uh, I, I feel like he's trying to tell me something, but I don't, I don't know. I got nothing. And then he goes on to say, I do want to clarify, Matt, I'm actually not your fan. In fact, to be perfectly honest with you, I think you're somewhat of a dickhead. Anyway, uh, I especially agree with your stance against those that have come to be known as social justice warriors, even though you are turning into an undercover SJW more and more every single year. Now, I know many feminists that would probably argue that that is very true. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I am also against them and their need to stifle creativity. And I'm sure you know a lot about that, Matt. I really do. No matter what, please keep making the great content you've been making and don't let anyone silence you, see you on YouTube, your subscriber, David. Well, that's really cool. He sent me <laughs> two, two books here. Uh, the first one here is Dealing with a Compulsive Lying Disorder. I'm gonna give this a read tonight. <laughs> uh, not really. See what I did there? Uh, this one is Curb Your Necrophilia. No, fuck that. Fuck that. There's nothing wrong with breathing in dead air, and it might feel like really over the top, but I'm just gonna come out and say it. I don't give a shit. I need to make sweet, sweet love to all of those rotten cadavers. Oh, I intend to, and I intend on reviewing it in my very next video, which I'm going to call, I'd literally fuck the dead, and I'm okay with that. Monday Matt! Hold on a second. I think there's something else in the box. Dun, dun, dun. Hold on here. What the hell is this? God damn. Oh! You a fucking beta, beta. And a corpse, Master Beta, Beta. Shout out to Rob Sedan and Beta. Nigga, stop wasting my data. Listen up.